What's up guys, Tom here with Extreme Air Vents again for another really cool installation of some bogey wheels from Ice Age. Let me show you what they look like. Okay, so Ice Age bogey wheels. These are stock size. They are a billet aluminum. Uh, they have a, I can't remember what they call this, but it's like a plastic urethane thingy around them. So why did I go with these Ice Age billet wheels with the urethane around them? Over the years, I've done a lot of research about billet wheels. One of the things that can happen with an all billet wheel with no flex <clears throat> is ice can start to build up around the outside of the wheel. And what that will do is actually will make the track get tighter. So um, the only way to get rid of it is to melt it out. You know, the stock ones, they have the rubber around them and that breaks, you know, it, it flexes just enough that the ice will break off so it never builds up. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, why do I need billet wheels? Well, I've never actually thought you did. Till last year, my brother-in-law and I were riding. He was in a big old nasty wheelie across this, this area and boom, he hit something on the very back and it completely tacoed both of those wheels. Uh, it laid them flat and he was done. So we ended up having to leave the sled there, go out, steal them off of this sled, go back to the mountains, pull them out, install this sled's wheels in his turbo to get the sled out. So I started thinking, well, I don't want that to happen again. Now I probably wouldn't recommend installing a billet wheel unless you have some kind of rail stiffener because whatever, if you hit something back here, whatever force is going to, that would have been taken out by these plastic wheels is now gonna get pushed to the rails and you could end up tackling your rails. So um, I don't know if that could happen for sure, but you know, if I were you, if I was gonna be installing billet wheels, I'd make sure I had rail stiffeners. Uh, just something to think about. Anyway, let's uh, get with the installation. So one of the first things we're going to need to do on this installation is to get the pressure off of the track. Years ago, I built this contraption. Anybody can build one. Basically, it's just a boat crank welded to a beam with some legs on it. These things are super handy uh, for lifting the sled. Anyway, so we're going to get the weight off of the track, loosen the track, get the wheels out, Put the new ones in. Let's do it. Okay, so for this project, you're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter open, and a 10 millimeter to loosen the track. Uh, so let's get to that. Basically, you're just gonna loosen up this through nut here. Uh, it's, it used to be uh, you had to loosen it on each side, but it's a through nut now. It goes all the way through. So we'll just uh, hold it on one side, zip it out with the other, and uh, then we'll loosen the track with the track tensioners. We'll pull those things out. through shaft. Now you're going to take your 10 millimeter and loosen up the track. And then, the track's plenty loose. I'm just going to kind of pry these out. Stay tuned.
Got parts flying everywhere. So this is what it looks like once you've got it out. You've got a spacer in between here. Got a bushing on this side, a bushing on this side, the through shaft, and then the two, the two idlers. Okay, so there's a sleeve on here that we want to make sure that we don't see that sleeve. So let's get the new ones. Okay, so we're going to install these. Uh, as I've got looking at these, the factory ones have this little shoulder that this sleeve sits on. The uh, Ice Age ones do not. So this plastic sleeve is not gonna go back on. So essentially, uh, this sleeve will. Now, as a side note, these are an eight inch wheel on their website. Uh, the factory is like, not quite an eight inch wheel. So this is the ice age behind it. You can see there's about <clears throat> probably an overall an eighth of an inch total larger. Won't be an issue. Uh, the track will actually just, um, it'll be a tiny bit tighter. So we're gonna adjust that anyway. So uh, if you're ordering factory replacement skidoo ones for turbo, uh, this is their 8 inch size. So, uh, that is going to be what it looks like. So, let's get it back in there. It's hard, it's just annoying. I need to hold the track. Okay, I just showed you how to make it really difficult. So, <laughs> that I made look way harder than it is. Okay, so. Let's keep going. Okay, I don't want to tighten that all the way up because I'm going to run these uh, track tensioner bolts in now. like to run my track pretty tight um, keep it from ratcheting but uh, so the idea is you want to center this distance on each side make sure it's the same so you can see this side is a lot closer so the track needs to move this way so the way to do that would be to um, tighten the other side so that it will shift it this way. So I'll show you a little trick. Okay, so we wanna spin this track to uh, get it lined up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start it, give it a little couple braps, get the track spinning, and then we'll check the alignment again. See how that tightened up quite a bit on this side. Now it shifted to this side, so I went too far. OK, 
Okay, so here's a little trick. So if you get a little slide rule, you can check it on this adjustment bolt. And then you take it over here and see and it's actually right on so i did loosen it a little bit before we checked it so that's exactly the same now we'll start it and see how the track alignment is okay So don't forget to torque this bolt and uh, those look pretty sweet. So no more tacoed plastic bogey wheels. Yeah, those are awesome. Okay, brethren. So that completes that installation. I hope I made that look really difficult. Um, which it felt like I did. It's not as difficult as I made it look. So um, don't be afraid to give it a try. Uh, the bogey wheels, pretty sweet. I like them. Ice Age, uh, check them out. Ice Age something or other. Uh, I'll put a link below. Um, I like Ice Age products. Used them over the years. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe. You know what it does. A little subscription for the Extreme Air Vance, Tom Walters. Helps me out. Keep making these videos. Man, pray for snow, would you? We need a good year. Okay, well, peace out.